From this third floor vantage point, you get a sense of the colorful effect. From ground level, the idea is to catch your attention long enough to slow drivers down. Dwight Price is all for it, but also argues for one of those old school remedies. I would love to see a four-way stop. See, because if it's slowing down from here to there, this car is right along here, they'd be going about 50. Sure enough, street art notwithstanding, there's some zooming going on. This is Cincinnati's first street calming paint job, Draymond and Borden in South Cumminsville. On Sunday, police blocked the intersection and neighbors pitched in. This is video of their artistic touch provided by the community. You can't just grab some Sherwin-Williams off your shelf and start doing this. It takes specialized paint, which is more durable. Having the mural in the intersection creates a sense of place. It, it demonstrates to folks driving through the neighborhood that there are people here. And even though that tow truck driver didn't instinctually slow down, that's the sense the pavement calming art is designed to convey. There are signs at this residential intersection calling attention to kids who regularly cross the street to catch the bus and can be at risk of getting clipped. I pray to God that that don't happen. This mural, it gives them the attention. It's getting a whole lot of attention now. It has to be at least 55 and dry to do this, so it'll be next spring before the next design is painted somewhere. Folks here figure it's worth a try. Slow the traffic down a little bit more, and it's still, like you say, with the bright color, it makes the neighborhood brighter. And looking live here, it doesn't have to be this design. It can be any design as long as it's not too distracting or giving the wrong impression, something like hopscotch or something like that. They have tried this in other places, St. Paul, Portland, Baltimore. In Cincinnati, it's South Cumminsville leading the way. Reporting live, John London, WLWT News 5.